YouTube. Bullets for Freedom and Liberty here. Thanks for uh, tuning in today. It is uh, my pleasure to add my two cents in for the new coffee chat series. Uh, this is my first one. I'm not going to talk about guns today, but I will share with that in the next one. But I am sharing with you the uh, Wake Up America Patriot Blend from InfoWarsStore.com. Yes, I am a fan of uh, the show. I watch it and listen to it every day while I'm traveling across this great country of ours. So it is a medium roast. And so those of you who are involved with InfoWars, if you can get me a French roast or a dark roast in this same, I'd love it. I appreciate it. Thank you. So I want to give a shout out to InfoWarsStore.com. Um, yeah. Anyways, so before I really get started, I want to give a shout out to my son who is serving our country in the U.S. Army down at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And I want to share with all of my viewers and those who tune in that Bullets for Freedom and Liberty is a correlation of, uh, I, I get to see that through the eyes of my son every time I see him, because I've always been a freedom-loving, Bible-thumping, right-wing constitutionalist, and I've tried to instill that into my children and to be able to see that in the eyes of my son who proudly serves this country and has for the last six years. Thank you. Um, my son knows how proud I am of him, how I envy him, and I just want to give a shout out to, to him, all the 82nd Airborne, and everybody down at Fort Bragg, everybody across the country. Um, I am can't thank you guys enough. So to our military, both past and present, um, thank you. Bullets for Freedom and Liberty will always be a supporter. So moving forward, I, I my my version of coffee chat. What did I want? To, what do I want to talk about today? Um, freedom. I'm talking about freedom. I want to talk about freedom and liberty. And what does that mean? We all reload. I'm new to casting. This is my first year casting. I've been reloading for almost 18 years, 15 to 18 years. I lose track. But the powder coating and casting has been a new one for me. And I got started by, uh, I think it was Country Boy Preppers. First, my, that was my first experience watching how can I reload for six, six or nine cents a round or whatever. And, and that opened up a whole new world for me. And then Fortune Cookie 45 LC, the reloader dude, um, loads of bacon. Uh, West Desert Shooter. Uh, you can see everybody that I that I truly follow on this channel. You can see that I've got links to them. But you know, Elvis Ammo really stuck out for me, uh, just simply because we're all normal, just everyday normal American patriots who love liberty and freedom. And that's really what I've I've seen with this, is that everybody in the shooting and reloading communities loves freedom. I know that deep down we all love our country. We all love what the founding fathers have done and what our military has fought, bled, and died for. And I'm going to get into that here in just a minute. But I wanted to just share with you what my thoughts were on freedom. Because, see, I'm obsessed with freedom. I truly believe that if you want freedom, you must be obsessed with obtaining freedom. You must become completely obsessed and dedicated to the cause of freedom. But what is freedom? Freedom is a noun. It's not a big deal. It's a noun. It's, it's the power or the right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. It's the absence of subjugation, of foreign domination, or even a despotic government. It's the state of not being imprisoned or enslaved. It's the power of self-determination attributed to the will, the quality of being an independent state, or independent fate, or of necessity. So, how does that pertain to us? How does that pertain to me, or to you, or to any of us out here there in the casting and reloading world? I know that a lot of us, we, we look at each other's channels and get tidbits of information. Johnny's Reloading Bench has, has done literally a video every freaking day for the month of August, and here we're at the end of August, and my God, Johnny, you rock. I, I mean, you rock. The information... I literally listen to the, the, every day I've listened to Johnny's Reloading Benches. I'm traveling cross country and I've got YouTube and I'm watching it. I'm just listening to it through the, the speakers. But 
Dude, kudos, man. You've put out some incredible information. I really have enjoyed that. I've learned a lot getting ready to implement that. But going back to uh, uh, being obsessed with freedom, I believe that if you do not possess the mental capacity to become entirely obsessed and dedicated to obtaining freedom, you do not deserve to be free in our modern times. And thus, I don't believe you will ever be able to truly know what freedom is. I know that's a little harsh, but again, these are just my opinions. You must, you, 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 I think you must be, be obsessed with freedom. It's not a secret. Maybe you just don't have the heart. Maybe you don't have the determination or the will. Maybe you don't have the desire to put the work in necessary to obtain freedom. You might just be too big of a TV watching, tap water drinking, Kardashian loving, pacifier sucking sissy to actually be able to make this work. And that's okay. But you want the easy way out. No, no, sheep. No, it ain't easy at all. From as far back as I can remember, I've always questioned authority. In my own way, I've carved my own path through my own life. I knew at a very young age that there were powers that controlled everything around me, and I've consistently tried to buck that system in one way or another, literally for freedom. I am obsessed with freedom and liberty. I'm obsessed with the Constitution. I'm obsessed with the Bill of Rights. Some say I'm a survivalist. Some say I'm a prepper, a conspiracy theorist, nut job. In fact, uh, a few years ago on my ambulance, I, my, the medic I was running with made me a tinfoil hat because he thought it was funny. And that's fine. I, I don't remember I, I don't remember being angry, but I remember it literally made me think not about how upset I am, but how much it sucks to be awake. It literally sucks daily to be awake. Whether I'm traveling cross country, I walk into the truck stops and, and I want a shirt that just says, ooh, people. Um, because it, it just sucks that I'm awake knowing what's going on around me. It's very frustrating. But because of the fact that I am awake, it gives me a different perspective. And it allows me just to step back and to pay attention. And it, I literally scream every day inside. Because I, 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 I see every day the millions and millions of sheeple who are completely oblivious to their surroundings as they, sur they, they they're literally surfing Facebook driving down the, the goddamn freeway 80 miles an hour on Facebook totally oblivious to their surroundings I literally pray every day for a collapse a restart as you will I don't want I don't wish ill on anybody but what I do want is a restart to be able to bring back what this country was founded on. And so, yeah, I do. I literally pray every day for a collapse, for a restart of our country, um, is what I would call it. Because every day I put in work for the resistance. I put in work. I literally sleep in 3% ink. Um, my vehicles from my, my beloved Jeep Wrangler to my 80,000-pound semi-truck, I brandished the 3% logo. And for those of you who don't know what 3% is, during the Revolutionary War, literally 3% of the population stood up and fought against the British and fought against the tyrannical king, while the rest of the 97%, the, the, the sheeple, stood around because they were either too afraid, or they didn't want to commit to the cause. And so the modern 3% movement is the same thing. Whether we're fighting the government or the, the, this new Antifa BS, um, whatever it is. It's, it's about liberty-loving patriots coming together to protect those who don't want to protect themselves. But this is what, how you do it. This is, you, you have to become obsessed with freedom. Now, I know a lot of you don't want to hear what I have to say, and that's, and that's fine. I don't, I don't care. I don't give a shit about that. Because hard times are coming our way. Whether you like it or not, hard times are coming our way. And so we need to educate. We need to train ourselves. We need to train those who we love. And we need to defend what we hold to be true. We need to defend to what we hold to be true. Our forefathers founded this country on one thing, and that was freedom and liberty. 
Our soldiers have fought and bled and died for those causes, for that freedom, for that liberty. And the question that I have is, are we literally going to stand by idly and watch our country be torn apart from the inside by those who truly despise the very principles our country was founded on? That's it. Are we going to stand idly by and watch? I'm not calling for a revolution. I'm not calling for, you know, to go out and, 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 and start fighting, you know. But there has to come a point where enough is enough. Are we at that point yet? Guys, I don't know. I have no idea. But that's my coffee chat for the day. I didn't even get a chance to drink any coffee. I took a sip. But I love liberty. I love my freedom. I will fight to the death for that. Um, I am committed to that. And, you know, this might put a mark on me. This might put a mark on my channel. That's fine. Um, YouTube's already censoring a lot of us anyways, which is fine. But that's my two cents on my first coffee chat. Love it or leave it. It's fine. But I appreciate those who have subscribed. I know those of, that are in the gun shooting and reloading and, and testing community, you wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for your freedom, if it wasn't for our military who supported and defended and defend our Constitution and our right to be able to do this, to live as free-loving Americans. And, uh, you know, I, that's, I guess that's pretty much all I've got. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, I've got some great videos coming up. Click to subscribe. And I uh, appreciate you watching.